be DJ. Can I get in it? Can I get in it? Uh. Oh yeah. Back with another video, guys. Let you know what's going on. And this is the five top devastating mistakes that Deontay West made. Uh man, just stay tuned, man, because I mean it's crazy, man. And my me personally, this is the first one. Sleeping with LeBron's mom. No. You ain't sleeping with LeBron's mom? Nah, uh, man. Would you do that? No. Nah. Because why? Christian man, bro. My nigga. <laughs> okay, you bless me, bro. I'm trying to get a beer. Trying to get a beer? Yep. How am I supposed to bless you? Six bucks. <laughs> They always trying to head on you, bro. So, the clip you just seen, uh, and this was Deontay West's first mistake, bro. This was his first mistake, man. Real talk. Uh, with him messing with LeBron James' mom. And I know a lot of people saying, that's the reason why he is the way he is. That's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, with he going through all that negative. Ain't no way that's the reason why he going through what all he going through. I will give him that much credit, bro. Real talk, I will give him that much credit. But like I said, that was the first mistake he made, bro. You cannot be in the NBA messing with not just the top NBA player, but the most, the greatest of some, of some people, or some people opinion that LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. You messing with this man, Mama, so you already know like some type of backlash or. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to follow you forever, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to follow you forever. No, any way you go, that's how they going to look at you. You see what I'm saying? A Deontay West messing with LeBron James' mama. Like, to this day, that's what people talk about. You see what I'm saying? So you got to put that in your head to understand, yeah, I messed up on that one, bro. I shouldn't have did that. Because, bro, that put you in a bad light. Like, that put a bad, you know what I'm saying? Thing like on your name, bro. Like, cause y'all in the NBA, all y'all in the NBA. This is what you do for a living. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta walk light. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I first heard that situation with him messing with LeBron James' mama, I knew then something went right with Deontay West. I knew then, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Out of all the women in the NBA, out of all the women in the world, out of all the women, period, bro, you messing with LeBron James' mama? But it man must be throw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This man must be throw, bro. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. It's just, it's a sad, hey man, it's a sad situation. Mistake number two, not being smart with your money, bro. You see what I'm saying? You got, M you got NBA players uh, 
telling the story how uh, Deontay West was reckless with his money. You know what I'm saying? I understand, man. You know you in the NBA for the first time. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and Deontay West, he played in the NBA for a long time, bro. He played since, I think he was started, what, since 2002 or 2003 all the way to 2012. Them a lot of years, bro. And you telling me you blew all that money? You know what I'm saying? You blew all that money, bro. And that's and that would get a lot of athlete is not being smart with their money, man. That's why majority or a high percentage of people that retire from the NFL and the NBA is broke because they not smart with their money. That's the main downfall that athletes go through. You get what I'm saying? That's the main downfall, bro. So, I mean, you got to be, and that's with anything that you do. That's with working a nine to five. That's with having your own building. That's with being in the NBA, the NFL. That's with anything, bro. Like, I can't say this enough. You got to be smart with your money, bro. Because guess what? Before all this happened, which he probably was already messed up and, you know, going through situation, you didn't see nobody talk to him about, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. You did not see that. You didn't see nobody saying, Oh man, I need I, I need to help him and all that. You did not see all that on the news, and he been going through this for a long time. You see what I'm saying? He been going through this for a long time, bro. So I mean, you just gotta sit back and think, bro. Like, man, it, it, like I said, man, you gotta be smart with your money. Problem number three, and I cannot stress this enough, bro. I cannot stress this enough. Now. You know, Deontay West was dealing with depression. You get what I'm saying? You When you're dealing with depression, uh, and they say he was open about it. Like, he used to tell people, you know, he used to make fun of it sometimes. You see what I'm saying? Uh, not only did he have depression, but they said, well, it's the same thing, but they said he had mental illness. Now, if you you cannot, this my this my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Other people might think different. You cannot go around and just tell people what's going on with you nowadays. You see what I'm saying? You cannot tell people. Like, if you're making all that money in the, in the NBA, bro, go talk to somebody. You know what I'm saying? You got enough money to handle the situation the best way you can. You ain't got to let everybody know what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Even though they, I'm pretty sure they seen it. But how they saying you were cracking jokes and... You know what I'm saying? Being funny about the situation sometimes and, you know, at going crazy sometimes. Like, bro, you making the money. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be smart about the situation. You just got to be smart about the situation, bro. And that's what it is. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? You cannot tell people about this, man, because the day, the times that we living in, you it could be any little thing. People going to make fun of you. People going to try to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people cause you harm. Just to see how you, just to see how you will react to the situation. Cause most of the time, people want you to be down anyway, bro. I'm just being real. People want you to be down anyway. You know what I'm saying? And problem number five. This real talk. This, I mean, not problem number five. Y'all forgive me. <laughs> problem number four. Your attitude. Your attitude, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, just like I just said. Now we know and now we understand that you were dealing with mental illness and, um, you know, depression. You get what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with these type of things, you got to the best way you can. You got to be very aware. You know what I'm saying? Of what you do when you, what you do around people because you in the media. You get what I'm saying? You can't just spaz out every chance you get. At the end of the day, yes, you is a grown man. At the end of the day, I, I believe that everybody still can't have control of what they do and what they say. If you're not handicapped, crippled, can't walk, can't talk, then I understand. But if you could do all those things, bro, you got to control your attitude, bro. Because, like I said, you can't go out here in the world and just have a messed up attitude, bro. It's a lot of people in the grave right now because just because of that, just because they had a messed up attitude. Real talk, you cannot do that, bro. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, problem number five, and this the main one, man. This is the main one that I can't believe didn't nobody try to get him help. I can't believe didn't nobody try to step in. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, man, I, I, I see what's going on with you. I want to help you. Problem number five, 
having the wrong people around you, bro. Having the wrong people around you. Because guess what? When you got the right people around you, they going to sit there and tell you, bro, don't mess with that man, mama. Bro, you got too much going on. Don't mess with that man, mama. You know what I'm saying? Bro, get you some help, bro. Get you some help because I see what's going on with you, bro. Get you some help. I love you. I love you. I, I want to see you win, bro. You see what I'm saying? Just by not having the right people around you, man. Because y'all got to understand, people, it's the reason why God put us down here on this earth. You get what I'm saying? It's a reason for that. So we got to cherish each other to the point where we can uplift each other. Because like I said, it's clearly showing that, you know, Deontay, uh, uh, he didn't have the right people around him, man. He had people taking his money. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was just a bad ship from the jump, man. It was just a bad start from the jump, bro. You know what I'm saying? It really was. And I and I'm gonna be real. I hope he get the real help that he need. I hope I hope them NBA players do help him, bro. Like I said, I could have put you know him down bad. You know what I'm saying? I could have put that on my video, but I ain't gonna kick a man while he down. You feel me? So like I said, man. Hey, man, before you guys do anything, like I said, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate y'all, bro. I'm out.